Hey, I'm super excited because it's almost turkey season and I got some new Montana decoys in, ready to put in my turkey vest. Ooh, there's one of my favorite setups right there. Got the Miss Perfect Hen and Jake. And what's so cool about this is they're super lifelike and there's two decoys in that small a space. A couple of features I really like about Montana decoys, of course they look super lifelike, we'll show that in a second, but Look how small they are, super lightweight, and they're quiet. Got that big old plastic decoy trying to get in and out of your vest or thumping around trees when you're hiking up a mountain. You've done shut every gobbler down on this side of California. But something this quiet, you can slide in there, pop it up, put it in place, and that tom never knows you're in his strut area. Second thing, imagine having a couple big old bulky decoys and try to put them in your vest. You got to have a couple of toters behind you just to get all your gear in the woods. But with these, I can put de two decoys in my vest. Got room for a couple of Snickers bars and some calls and I'm good to go. I've tagged a bunch of toms just over Miss Perfect. They've actually improved the coloring a little bit this year, which is hard to believe they improved it, but let's bust her out. See how she looks. So you notice as soon as I take that strap off, boom. Life-size turkey hen. Got the 3D, look at this little flap. Some material here looks like feathers, ruffling just a little bit in the wind, but here's a secret a lot of guys don't take advantage of. You can go from a feeding hen to an alert hen, just that simple. You can position the head any way you want. Turn a little bit this way, straight on. No matter what your setup is, with the Montana, you can make the decoy fits a situation to bring that tom right into shotgun range. Once I take Miss Perfect out of my hunting vest, she pops in perfect shape. I get the head however I want it. Take the stake, take the elastic strap, put on the stake. It's ready to be slid in the ground. And the elastic strap keeps her right there even in a stiff wind. She move just enough to give it that realistic look. You know, early season when the toms are still sorting out their dominance, there's nothing that'll bring that tom in quite as quick as a Jake that he thinks has moved in to his strutting area. That's when the Montana Jake comes out of my vest. Simply take the halter off. Boom, there he is. Big old red head. A little bit bigger than a hen body-wise with that short beard. Get that head up, makes him look like he's going for a fight. And that old gobbler's gonna come in, try to thump on him, but he's gonna get a load of Winchester before he gets there. Just a little bit later in season when some breeding's actually occurring, put that old hen out there, and that old Jake looking at her. Man, oh man, that big Tom can't stand the competition. He's gonna come in and try to drive this intruder out of his breeding area. There's another goodie in the box and it's exactly what I need for those toms that hang up on the other side of the field and just won't come to me. It's the Fanatic XL. Fanning, reaping, boy that's a hot technique in areas where it's safe to use. Let's check this rascal out. I've tried fanning with a real fan from a harvested tom. And they're simply just not big enough. Shoot, I'm sticking out on all three sides. Gobber goes, why is Grant crawling out here holding that turkey fan? Runs to the other county. But the Fanatic XL, check this bad boy out right here. Now that baby will hide you. Got the little see-through window, but your head's not doing this the whole time. You can see exactly what's going on. Get in position, just stake it in the ground, and at the right moment, I come out here with the Winchester and say, hello, Mr. Tom. Included with the Fanatic XL is the turkey foot stake holder. You might be wondering, well, shoot, no turkey's gonna see that and think it's a turkey. But that's not the purpose, boys. Just stick the Fanatic in this, and you can put it on the ground, short pasture, cow pasture, something like that, and just slide it in front of you as you come in. Then you can have both hands on the gun, so when you come out, this thing doesn't fall over. It's right there, and you give them that little surprise with the fan watching the whole show. Not only are the Montana super lifelike in appearance, totally silent, but collapsible 
so I can tote all three of these decoys while I'm hunting, kill the tom, have room to put them all in the pack plus my tom, and walk home with a smile on my face. Man, with this setup, I'm ready for any situation, and you'll see me using these in the field in a couple of weeks.